Welcome all you fire signs to your weekly energy update. This of course is for all you Aries, your Leos, you Sagittarians, no matter where it is at in your chart. And we're going to be looking at the week of March 6th to March 13th, but these are also timeless. So if you're coming across this outside of that time frame, I would still trust your intuition that I brought you here and watch the video because I'm sure there are messages for you. But for all of you that are tuning in between those dates, yesterday on March 5th, I did put out the spring fall equinox readings. And so if you want to check those out, those will be linked at the end of the video. But for this week, we're going to start off by pulling a card here from these angel reading cards and to see what the angels would like you to know. Your guardian angel and all your other angels for this week. All right, so for our fire signs, what would you like them to know, please? Okay, they actually went to this one right here. And you've got the Angel of Knowledge. And this is a beautiful card because the Angel of Knowledge really has to do the in the book um, they actually talk about you know like you're going to take a test you're going to be having some sort of exam and just to know that you know you your angels are behind you and they'll help guide you they won't help you cheat on the test but they'll help you bring back you know remembrance of anything that you've studied if you just ask the biggest thing though with this which is not in the book was this message that I get from this card about the fight or flight, you know, whenever you have this test anxiety, where when you are going to go under something under pressure, whether it is a presentation or a test, an exam, something where you're like, oh my gosh, I've got to perform and I'm afraid when you go up and happen to like do a presentation or a speech, your mouth will get cottony and you'll, uh, the blood like literally rushes from our brain when we're in anxiety because it thinks we're in danger. And so it goes into fight or flight mode. It doesn't want us to think, so it pulls out of our brain so we don't stand there and get munched on by animals. <laughs> Instead, it gives us all the strength to fight or to run you know like crazy so there is this underlying message about your fears and that when you feel yourself getting pulled into that breathe take deep breaths pause uh, choose differently look into why you're fearing what do you fear the failure might bring right what if you don't do well on that test that someone is providing for you in some way what what if you know what does it really mean question all those thoughts and those beliefs around that quote failure and go wait a minute why are other people defining me we're going to look into here and pull the true heart intuitive tarot and just see what else the angels or the creator and spirit would like you to know about this week regarding this fear of failure and this fear of failing this uh, exam this relationship performing in whatever capacity it is that you're fearing this week and one more time all right there we go all right so for our air signs what else i'm sorry our fire signs what else do you want them to know okay Really? All those? Okay, they said, why, yes, sir, re. So let's go through these. So you have the two of swords, and swords is about your decision making, but it's the air sign, which I was just <laughs> mentioning a moment ago, which is your mind. It is your knowledge. It is your thoughts, beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations, and all your beliefs. And it's beautiful because it's letting you know there's two places that your thoughts come from. One is from the human side, our animal fear, fight or flight, uh, little character that's exploring on this wonderful adventure game that we're in. And the other is your higher self, 
your powerful, supernatural, eternal spirit being made of unconditional love that connects us to our angels, connects us to that whole other world on the other side. So there's this knowledge that's coming through on here about your daily decisions, your moment by moment decisions, understanding that if it's not of unconditional love of the upper realm, then it's a fear of losing conditional love. And knowing that, knowing you have another choice can help you with these fears and looking at the small T truths of failure versus the capital T truths of your awesomeness, your perfection of who you really are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yep, so you have your Ace of Swords. This is perfect because, again, the swords are your thoughts and beliefs and everything I mentioned. But the Ace of Swords brings you the ability to connect to the capital T truths of the upper world and to also cut away those thoughts and those beliefs that no longer serve you. So they are telling you that you have the power to do this and they're definitely zeroing in on your thoughts and your beliefs this coming week. And then you have the Six of Wands. Wands is your drive, your ambition, your aha inspiration, your passion. It's your spiritual energy and energy too. And the Six of Wands, interestingly enough, is about recognition. <laughs> and so this knowledge that we're looking at, the fear that at the core of it is that you won't get recognized if you do well. Like you might have been, you know, I'm doing so well and I, I have to struggle to get attention from the ones I love. I have to do extreme things. I have to pass extreme tests to get their attention. And it's also, of course, is that drive that we're having that fear. If I don't pass it, that I'll lose everyone's attention or I'll get the wrong type of attention. But this is a message from spirit, from the creator, from all those beings of unconditional love and light from the other side. You know, the creator, spirit, your guardian angels, your angels, your spirit guides, your loved ones who have lived here and are already back on the other side, your ancestors, and all that slew of beings of unconditional love and light. They see you, they recognize you, they see who you really are. They're proud of you and they're in awe of you. They see you through these beautiful, unconditional eyes of love. And like I said, they see you as perfect. So there is this working out this week of who you're trying to please. And if it's so tough to please them, why do we care? You know, do they really know everything about you? If they did, like spirit does, they would be in awe of you like spirit is. But most people are judging you through their own eyes and it, they're looking into a mirror. So they never really, really see you. They just see themselves reflected in you anyway. So that's something to think about. <laughs> and then you have the Ten of Wands. So Wands and Wands. And Ten of Wands is burden, like overburdened. You are investing so much energy into meeting all of those expectations and supposed tos and those tests of your life that have been kind of thrown on you from very young up to this point. But it's wonderful because this Ace of Swords, keep going back to it, that you have the power to choose what anything means, what story you apply to any situation or circumstance in your life. And you get to choose it. Everyone else will have their opinion about it, just like we'll have opinions about everything of everyone else. But coming back to what we can control, which is our story that we apply to a situation. You could fail a test. People could be like, oh my God, what a failure. You shouldn't even be going in that direction. And you're like, you know what? You're right. I don't want to do that. And I don't want to study. And I don't want to become that that I'm testing for or growing or whatever. And I'm, I don't want that. And I'm not going to do it anymore. If you want, that's the story you can put to it. Or you could, if you want to enjoy that juicy feeling of failure and disappointment, feel it. 
enjoy it for whatever time, but then know that you have another choice always when you get sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. <laughs> And then you have the Four of Discs, which would be the Four of Pentacles in the Standard Tarot. And this is, Pentacles are all about the outside world, and it's really about our worth, how we are determining our worth from the outside world. And I love the Four of Pentacles for you in this reading, because you can think of the Fours as a very solid foundation, like a table that has four strong legs. It's a very solid table. Well this journey that you're on, this fear that you're facing, like we were talking about on the other end of it, you realize that you're finding your worth from inside yourself, not from outside yourself. Because you'll find when you're looking for these three coins outside of yourself, they are going to tell you eventually that you're worth less than someone else. <laughs> because that's what the outside world contrast adventure theme park does. It tells us, look and determine your worth by relationships. Determine your worth by situations, right? Like this. Determine yourself by things like your bank account and your possessions and your body. The thing is, though, when you look to relationships to determine your worth, your worth feels unstable because people are unstable. They change or they pass away. If you're determining your worth by situations, well, situations never stay the same. They're unstable, so you feel unstable. And if you define yourself by things, your bank account, your body, all those things break down, deteriorate, or some of those things are stolen, right? So those things are unstable. So you learn that when you're defining yourself by the outside, that's not self-worth, that's a retail price. Because retail price fluctuates based on the suggested retail price that people are putting on you. And so if you're this wonderful, warm parka coat in the north of Alaska during right dead winter, you're going to be priceless. They might even mark up your price instead. But if you're in southern Texas during the summer, you're probably in the 99% clearance rack, <laughs> right? That's the fluctuation and instability of retail price. But that's not self-worth. Self-worth, you determine that from within. And I like this because there's like this moth butterfly that this is this transformation that's happening. You thought of yourself as a caterpillar and that you would never be able to do anything but crawl on the forest floor. But lo and behold, as you're going through your little cocoon and chrysalis, you emerge something so much more than you ever thought you would be. And you're able to fly above things. You're able to fly over things you wouldn't be able to before. The caterpillar couldn't crawl across the stream, but you just flutter, flutter, flutter right over it because of this strong foundation that you're finding for yourself. And then lastly, yeah, <laughs> you have the star. It's the, the card of hope, the card of discovering who you really are. It's the Aquarian card. It's the bringer of the waters, the living waters. And this is connecting to your higher self, like we're talking about here. Connecting to the heavenly realms, the upper realms, the higher realms, and bringing down that amazing, amazing living water that is the unconditional love essence of the creator of all things. And then, you know, she has one you know, one foot on earth and one foot in the water. And that means it floods out into all areas of your life. The land being your mind and your outside world and the water being your emotions and your spirit. And it flows out into it. So this is like the outcome with what you're doing here and what you're going through. You have this opportunity to just blossom and shine bright like a star in the sky yeah especially with this recognition you will shine you will shine not because you are ignited by everyone else's appreciation and adoration of you it's because you found your worth from inside and from something that is stable which is the higher realms those beings of unconditional love because Unconditional means zero conditions. You can never lose it. 
so you can have that that's stable right something you could never lose that's eternal that's perfect right and that's your foundation and then for your final message for this week we're going to pull from these notes from the universe cards by mike dooley i love them they're hilarious usually so we can always use a little bit more humor in our week so this will be a nice little message from the universe for you there we go all right so what is your final message for our air our fire signs i don't know why i keep on thinking air but i think it's because of all the mind stuff that's going on with you and you actually get three so i'll show it to you here first and then i'll read it in case you want a screenshot of it and it says if everyone knew how much they were loved not only from above but everyone now in their life There'd be little hearts drawn on everything from wheelbarrows to skyscrapers to jumbo jets. And on so, and it says, and I so look forward to that day. Big heart, the universe, everyone loves you. <laughs> so just like I was saying, I love that. And then you have this one. That one says, it's rather easy to let go of the past once you realize that no matter how differently things might have gone, you still couldn't be more loved than you now are, nor could you have more to look forward to. Don't you think? The universe. Do you think I made life too easy? <laughs> yeah, and so this is, you know, the... Um, it doesn't matter what you have done, you wouldn't have been able to be loved anymore because when you're unconditionally loved, there's nothing you can do to lose it, but there's nothing you can do to gain any more of it because you have 100% of it all always. So I love that too. And then here's your final card. And this says, there are those scattered on every continent who are so compassionate and wise and loving that the depth of their character completely escapes those who are still relatively new to time and space. How do you deal with that? Incognito, the universe. It's just as well you bore of the paparazzi fast enough. So this kind of comes back to this not being noticed by all those in the outside world who are still new to this time and space. They're still, you know, on their little journey. Again, the mirrors of them looking at themselves and not seeing you. They just see themselves in your, refle in, uh, your reflection. So this is going to be a great week for you. I'm excited for this awareness and this release of things and seeing yourself as the star that you really are. So I love it. All you fire signs, fire in the sky. <laughs> If you want additional messages of love from above, I also put out free monthly readings by each zodiac sign. Um, these weekly energy updates, new moon and full moon readings, and a variety of others. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click the like button. Also click on the subscribe button and that gives you access to this notification bell. When you go in there, just select all and then to be notified of any new videos that come out on this channel. Also doing those things helps spread the love. When you like a video, share a video, comment on a video or subscribe to a channel, the YouTube algorithm gets so excited it wants to share videos of that channel with other people as well. So if you feel so inspired to do any of those things of course i am very grateful for that also these are general readings if you want even more specific detailed reading for your life i do offer personal readings and all of that information is in the description box below all right my aries my leo my sagittarians as you're going through this wonderful amazing awareness week please know that every second of every day of your life that you are obviously unconditionally loved by the creator of all things and of course i love you too have an amazing week i'm sure i'll be talking to you very soon until then you take care